day learners, welcome to my class. Another day, another lesson to learn. Before we jump off to our lesson, I would like you to know that at the end of the lesson, I am expecting you to Describe the appearance and uses of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. To start of our lesson, let's play a short game entitled Mixed Letters. I'll give you jumbled letters or mixed letters and you need to unscramble the letters to make a word that is related to our topic for today. Hints are provided and you have 5 seconds to do it. Are you ready? Let's start! First, this is anything that has a mast and takes up space. Great, it is matter. Next, it is a matter that is composed of one kind of particle throughout the substance. Great job, it's pure substance. Next, these are pure substances that contain all of the same type of particle called atoms. Good. Elements. Next, it is a pure substance containing particles called molecules. Very good. It's compound. Next, we have it is a combination of two or more substances in which each pure substance retains its individual chemical properties. Great job, it's a mixture. All of these words has something to do with our topic about homogeneous mixtures. Now, let's start with a mixture. What is a mixture again? Yes, a mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances which are physically combined. It is the physical combination of two or more substances in which the identities are retained and are mixed in the form of solutions, suspensions, and colloids. Sometimes, when solid materials are mixed with other solids or when liquid materials mixed with other liquids, each of the combined materials cannot be distinguished anymore from each other and the resulting mixture looked the same throughout. And we call this mixture as homogeneous mixture. Many homogeneous mixtures are commonly referred to as solutions. And solutions are homogeneous mixtures having two or more components uniformly distributed. They are classified as solid, liquid, or gas. But what is a solution? Yes, a solution consists of a solute and a solvent, as you can see in the pictures. Now, the solute is the substance that is dissolved, while the solvent is a substance that dissolves the solute. For example, in a solution of coffee powder and water, the coffee powder is the solute and the water is the solvent. Substances react differently when mixed with water. Some substances like sugar, coffee, and salt spread evenly when mixed with water. Now, these materials are called soluble because they can easily dissolve in water. Liquid materials can also be combined with another liquid material. Two liquids that mix completely together are said to be miscible. But what is miscible? It just means that it is mixable, like the soy sauce and vinegar solution. These are miscible liquids. Now, let's have the five types of solution. All of these types that I'm going to tell you are homogeneous mixtures. Let's start with let's start with the first one, the solid and liquid solution. A solid substance is dissolved in a liquid substance like our example in the picture, the salt in water. 
Now, will you think of an example of a solid substance that is being dissolved in a liquid substance? Wow, great ideas! Next, let's have the second one. This is the liquid and liquid solution. When you're talking about a liquid and liquid solution, we are pertaining to a liquid substance that can also be dissolved in another liquid, like the wine, alcohol, and water. Will you give me an example of a liquid and liquid solution? Oh, great! Certain liquids contain gaseous substance. As soft drinks appear as liquids, but they actually contain carbon dioxide gas. That is an example of a gas in liquid solution. Next, we have the gas in gas. Water is the universal solvent. Oxygen is also present in water. Air is a very good example of gas solution. It is a mixture of several gases like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, argon, and several trace gases. Water vapor, methane, and ammonia. Next, Lastly, the solid and solid solution. Alloys are example of solid and solid solution. And a good example of alloys are the following, the brass and the steel. The brass composed of a copper and zinc, while the steel composed of carbon and iron metals. Now, let's play! Just put a check mark if it's homogeneous mixture and an X mark if it's not. Let's start with the first picture. Is it homogeneous or not? Great, it is homogeneous mixture. Next, let's have cookies. Is it homogeneous or not? You know it's not? While the coffee is a homogeneous mixture. Let's have the pizza. And it's not. Lastly, the soft drinks in a glass full of ice. No, it's not because of the ice. Again, a homogeneous mixture is when you cannot recognize the component of the mixture anymore. Okay, so now let's have our activity time by starting with activity number one. I'll give you five minutes for activity number one and please just pause it. Next, for activity number two, is also good for five minutes. Pass it. For activity number three, it is good for ten minutes. And for activity number four, it's good for 10 minutes as well. Now, our performance tasks. Alright, before we end our lesson, let's have a reflection. What are the compositions of a homogeneous mixture? Thank you so much for listening to our next lesson. Goodbye.